This is an encounter you weren't expecting, but it's going to be absolutely fascinating. Welcome to the Nichols Community Football Centre for this fixture between Stratford Paddock FC and Julian Lescott's Mysterious Eleven. I'm Ethan James on the commentary today, and yes, you heard me right. We're playing two times Premier League winner and ex-England international Julian Lescott and his Mysterious Eleven this afternoon. This is a friendly fixture due to our league match being postponed and a great chance to experiment with tactics, gain some fitness against a team sourced out by Lescott. We'll find out if there's any more recognisable faces in the team in just a moment, but first, the Stratford Paddock FC team news. It's of course a 4-3-3 formation, a debut for the goalkeeper Gimenez. It's a back four of Oat, Fullwood, Pickering and Burke. A midfield three of Jenkins, Shakur, Abazor and a front three of DeAndre, Jones and Malloy. OK then, it will be Julian Lescott's mysterious 11 who get this game underway. Lescott's 11 playing in all black and of course Stratford Paddock in their traditional red jerseys and white shorts. It will be a little bit difficult to tell who some of these mysterious players are. They don't have numbers on, but like you can see there, that's Ronaldo Brown, ex Stratford Paddock FC. A good servant for the team now, playing for Lescott's 11 today, filling in there. As the team in black try and work it down the right side, but it's been intercepted by Eddie Fullwood. You can bring the ball forward to Tom Jones, who switches it wide to Mikey Burke. Here's Kieran Malloy back to Mikey Burke. Good run by the right back. Bodies in the box for Stretford Paddock, blocked. And it runs out of play. But Paddock playing confidently. They're going to put bodies forward against this experienced team. Shot now, easy for the goalkeeper. As you can see there on the sideline, Julian Lescott. He's just come back from the Manchester City-Chelsea game. So running a little bit late, he'll be on shortly, no doubt. And once again, Eddie Forward wins back possession for Stretford Paddock. Ball switch wide to Kieran Malloy. Mikey Burke on the overlap. He's there if Malloy needs him. Good footwork though by Kieran Malloy. Here's Hamza. Hamza Bazor. Strike by Shakur is blocked. Paddock having a few efforts early on in the first nine minutes. Here's Hamza Abazor once more on the edge of the box. Strike from Abazor. Sails over the bar harmlessly. But confident stuff again from Paddock as Lescott's 11 give it away once more. Paddock pressing high with Malloy. Jones there as well. Abazor joining. But there's a ball over the top here and Pickering does well. Maybe a little bit of confusion between Burke and Pickering as to who was going to get that. But here's Julian Lescott. Ten minutes into this game and he comes on. He'll be marshalling the back four. For his 11 today. Is Jenkins switching it wide to Malloy. What a ball that is. Here goes Kieran Malloy onto his right foot across the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. What a start for Stretford Paddock. Fantastic ball over the top from Jenkins from the left side to the right. It took out Lescott's back four. And Malloy's footwork was scintillating straight across the goalkeeper and into the bottom corner, 1-0 Stretford Paddock. Here's Julian Lescott on the ball. Won back by Stretford Paddock in the possession of Jenkins now. He just got that brilliant assist 
moments ago and he's been brought down but play goes on here's Abazor brilliant footwork oh, just wide what an effort that was and they absolutely love it on the sideline Hamza Abazor absolutely done Julian Lescott look at this for footwork he takes it past him and the strike is agonisingly wide what a goal that would have been and Booba Jenkins has gone off injured after that challenge and it's a debut for Sammy who comes on for Stratford Paddock here's Pickering Paddock dominating the early exchanges here as a ball's found Tom Jones here over the top and off the bar and it's gone off as offside here brilliant move though by Paddock delicate finish by Jones and it just clipped the bar unfortunate that play was stopped and here goes Lescott's 11 ball into the box and Burke can just hook it away but only momentarily ball played to the right side across and blocked by Paddock once more Lescott's 11 most effective part of play so far as Lescott wins it here in the middle but look at that for a challenge by Shakur and then another tackle from the mysterious 11 Oat intercepts and he can get Paddock back under a little bit of control now but the ball to Malloy is poor and here's Lescott once more laid off by Ronaldo Brown And the debutant Gimenez and goal. Not being tested too much as of yet. That's a poor touch by Abazor. And there's a chance here for Lescott's 11. Men in the box. Nicky Blackman there just laying it off wide to the back post. Strike! 1-1. One, one. And it's Aaron Burns who's equalised for the mysterious 11. 34 year old former Manchester United reserves player and that was easy as you like for him he's had quite the career in Manchester he's been all around the local teams FC United of Manchester Altrincham Ashton United Staley Bridge he's currently at 1875 Northwich that's the team in black go again but Abazor gets a foot in. It's been nicked off his toes, though. Blackman back in possession. Shot by Blackman. Good save. And oh, over the bar by Aaron Burns. Lovely little flick by Blackman. And then the strike from range was a powerful one. And Gimenez got across well. And oh, dearie me. What's Burns doing on that occasion? And that's, believe it or not, Chris Eagles, who was battling away for the ball there. Now 36 years old. You're known for playing for Bolton Wanderers and Burnley. And that's where he made his name. Of course, started his career at Manchester United, though, all the way back in 2003. Here's a chance for Sami Usfal, just wide. Not bad from the debutant. A really good chance for... Sammy to make himself known to Stephen Housen to impress in this friendly match as it's a bit of a wayward ball across the back line but Tom Jones intercepts and plays it to Berg but it's been lost there by Pickering and there is Shakur to Tom Jones who battles away past Ronaldo Brown the ball in the middle didn't quite find DeAndre I wonder what that man's thinking so far. Surely quite impressed. Putting on a display against some very experienced pros. As Ronaldo Brown wins it back off Mikey Burke. Chance down the middle. Just wide. A big chance that was for Aaron Burns to get a second. Not on this occasion. Here's Tom Jones once more. Ronaldo battling away once more with them there's been a little bit of a battle going on there between those two and 
Tom Jones has pulled up with with what looks like a hamstring injury. Players being stopped, and it looks like Tom Jones is going to have to go off here. And Al Masri will come on in place of Tom Jones. Here's Hamza, who's been making himself notice so far. He's been excellent. And here's space on the left side for Chris Eagles. And he's got the pace. He's absolutely done right, Pickering. Across the box, and here's Burns. What the fucking hell's he got through you, lads? Fuck me. Yeah, impressive pace by the 36-year-old Chris Eagles. Who's absolutely burnt the paddock defence there. And the ball across was perfect for Aaron Burns to get his second of the afternoon. 2-1 to Lescott's mysterious 11. Here's Malloy intercepted there. Mikey Burke could have a pop. He does. Good save. Fantastic shot by Mikey Burke. He got pace behind it. He got power. And the goalkeeper gets across well to divert it wide. Here's Ronaldo Brown dancing into the penalty area. Across <laughs> off the bar. Still alive though. Paddock haven't got it gone yet and they do now. To Abazor, have a look at this again. Smashing the crossbar there. Here's Lescott. Paddock struggling to get the ball under their spell at the moment. Brilliant ball across, missed there by Pickering. Here's a chance over the goalkeeper and it's three. What a hat-trick for Aaron Burns in the first half. That was a terrific finish, just lobbing it over Gimenez. He placed it perfectly. 3-1 to Lescott's 11 and that's half-time. It started off so well for Stretford Paddock. Kira Malloy opened the scoring, but then Aaron Burns with a hat-trick to make it 3-1 at the interval. And it'll be Stretford Paddock who get the second half underway. Here's Jenkins. A wonderful assist in the first half. A little bit more magic from him would be ideal. Abazor has been magical as well. Really deserved a goal when he sat last, got down and danced around him. The shot agonizingly wide. Nice play by Paddock here. Here's DeAndre with a strike. Easy for the goalkeeper. He's impressed just before the Christmas break, DeAndre. Chipped in with a few goals, and it's good pressure here by the attacker. Chance saved by the goalkeeper. Still alive though for Paddock, blocked again, and then it just trickles wide. Malloy would have been hoping the ball would have fell to him, but it was blocked, and Lescott's 11 get away with it. Oh, what a goal out of nowhere. Chris Eagles with a scintillating strike. 4-1 to Lescott's 11. He just cut in there, Eagles. And that's a finish of an ex-Premier League player, isn't it? Well, he might have scored 21 goals for Burnley, 17 for Bolton Wanderers, Chris Eagles, but that might be the one he's most proud of. You never know. Three goals to the good now. Lescott's 11. They've got control of this match now. If Panic can try and get one just before the hour mark, that would be lovely. As Abazor battles for the ball down the right side and he can't quite engineer an opportunity from it. He's been excellent though. Bright smiles. He's enjoying himself today. Look at this again. How cheeky is that? Lovely bit of skill. to put a throw there and Paddock try and capitalise on it what's the goalkeeper doing 
And it's been seen out there, but that was poor goalkeeping from the Lescott 11 man. Good player by Paddock once more to stretch the pitch. Here's DeAndre. Thinking about having a shot. Does have a shot. But not a very accurate one. Oh, brilliant play here. Yeah, great save, though, by Gimenez. He got down well. Like a futsal save, that one. It was Chris Eagles who went through and goal. And Gimenez with a great leg on that one to block it. Must be quite nice for a goalkeeper at this level to say you've saved Chris Eagle's shot. One on one. Especially on your debut. That could be a penalty there. Nothing given by the referee. And at first glance, that looks stonewall. Have a look here. DeAndre cutting in. Ah, and that's a penalty kick, isn't it? He flicked the ball past the defender. He went down. It should have been a pen. Not given. Free kick, though, for Stretford Paddock. Here goes Mikey Burke. Over the wall, just wide. Good effort from Mikey Burke. Inches wide there. One of Stretford Paddock's most iconic free kicks, obviously, you remember, is Kieran Malloy's effort in the cup to send us through. Another chance here for Les Scott. 11, just wide. And it was Chris Eagles once again looking for his second. Brilliant play by Jenkins, who plays it to Keen Swindles driving forward at the minute. Great ball down the middle. Oh. And it flashes across goal. Brilliant run by Swindles to drive his team forward. Steve, any thoughts whilst the game's coming to a close? Uh, as you might have heard me say, it's, it's been a... Um, it's been a good training exercise because we've, we've achieved what we set out to do with the training objective. Obviously, we've played a pretty high level opposition. I think most of these have, have played some fucking well. Obviously, you've got Chris Eagles, who's played for United. You've obviously got Jolly and Lescott. But I know there's a lot of other players here. I just can't put uh, names to faces on who they are. Uh, but there's a lot of really good talent here. And they've given us a good game. So rather than have the weekend off, obviously, our, our fixture was cancelled. I think this has been a, a good training opportunity for us. And it's been exactly that, a brilliant training opportunity. And that's full time. Les Scott's 11, run out 4-1 winners. It started off so well with Kieran Malloy's opener. But Paddock just come up against a team with so much experience. Which ultimately saw Les Scott's team see this match through. It was a hat trick for Aaron Burns. Obviously, ex-Manchester United reserves player. A brilliant first half hat trick. And Chris Eagles, 36-year-old ex-Bolton Wanderers. Ex Burnley, who added the fourth. Other players out there as well. Ben Marshall, who's known for playing for Blackburn Rovers and Leicester. Nicky Blackman, who's played for Maccabee Tel Aviv, Sheffield United, Reading, and Derby. And Josh Bardsley, whose brother of Phil Bardsley. We all know him. So it's been a good test today for Stretford Paddock. And I hope you've enjoyed the coverage of this game. I've been Ethan James. Be sure to see us for the next one.